the Buffalo Bills upgraded the defensive line in an attempt to finish games. The additions of defensive tackles Daquan Jones, Tim Settle, Jordan Phillips, defensive ends Shaq Lawson, and future Hall of Famer Von Miller have unlocked another level of play to linebackers Matt Milano and Tremaine Edmonds. Milano has always been a playmaker, but he wanted to elevate his game in 2022. Yep, I'm just trying to be dominant this year. Everything okay. I do in the run game, in the pass game, locking people up, making tackles, being all over the field, that's what I'm trying to do. Like a that's decisive win on yep. every play. Every, every play, right. I'm going crazy. And he has dominated. But the upgrades along the defensive line have helped Edmonds play faster. Former Bills linebacker Lorenzo Alexander told me that new linebacker coach Bobby Babich has the linebackers balling, and I'm going to show you how they're getting it done. Leslie Frazier's defense is a two-high safety defense. They are in two-high shells 62% of the time prior to the snap, which was fourth most coming into week four. They show a light box 62% of the time, which puts an enormous amount of stress on slot corner Taron Johnson, but also linebackers Edmonds and Milano. Milano and Edmonds are even more crucial when teams spread the defense out and the box only has six defenders or less to stop the run. They must read and attack as quickly as they can to beat the leverage or box numbers advantage the offenses get. Milano has made several big plays on third and short thanks to his processing and quick trigger. Here he drops with the tight end, read zone read, and because he is a forced defender, he is responsible for quarterback Malik Willis. He fires his gun to force fourth down. From the end zone view, you can see that Boogie Basham and Daquan Jones occupy two offensive linemen each. Edmonds and Johnson fill their gaps. Rousseau has the dive if Willis hands it to the back and Milano has the quarterback. Everyone was doing their 1-11th. How about this play by Milano and Edmonds as the Ravens ran counter bash? Miller is the read for Jackson. He stayed home, so Jackson kept it. Boogie Basham crashed down, which gave Jackson the edge. So he thought. Milano and Hamlin do a great job of containing the run, and Edmonds shows off his speed to make the tackle with Milano. Check out this second and one call late in the game against the Ravens. On the snap, defensive tackle Brandon Bryant executes a gap exchange so that Edmonds can come downhill cleanly. Bryant occupies three offensive players. Edmonds fires the gap, which forces the back to bounce it right to Milano. A big stop on the Ravens' final drive. On this duo run call, running back Cam Akers is taught to read the Mike linebacker Edmonds. If he fires into his gap, then Akers will bounce it. But the Bills have Edmonds a tad deeper, and he muddies the read by staying put. The defensive linemen eat up some blocks, while Milano immediately read the block by the tight end, so he fired his gun to create a tackle for loss. In the third quarter, the Rams come back to this play out of a different formation. This time, Milano is the read. The back quickly decides to bounce it. But watch Jones, Phillips, and Basham. Look at how they occupy and also force the bounce. This keeps Edmonds clean, and he comes downhill to make the run stop. There's no denying that Milano is a better linebacker overall but they complement and play off of each other so well. Both have been able to play cleanly for a majority of the season, even with injuries up front. On this play, Milano is communicating to Edmonds prior to the snap. Given their depths, I imagine Milano reminded Edmonds that he was going to shoot the gap. Post snap, he shoots his shot as the Titans pitch it out to Derrick Henry. Milano pursues and occupies the fullback. This allows Edmonds to stay clean, rally to the ball, knock down the stiff arm, and wrap up the big running back. This is when the Bills backers are at their best. Milano is always the disruptor, the guy who can blow up a play or funnel it to his running mate Edmonds like you see here. On this play, the Ravens run a counter tray. First, watch Jones and Miller, the playside defensive lineman. Look at how Jones occupies too, as does Miller as he takes a tight end inside with him and blows up the backside pulling guard. They keep Milano and Edmonds clean. Milano shoots the first gap he sees, and it's not even his gap, but it forces J.K. Dobbins to cut up inside. That's when Edmonds sees his opportunity to end the play. Watch this play by Lawson and defensive tackle Prince Amelie. Both defensive linemen execute a gap exchange, so they line up in one gap, but post snap slant inside to disrupt the zone blocking. And boy, does it work. Lawson occupies two defenders, while Emily's movement didn't allow the lineman to climb to cut off Milano. This allows Milano to fly to the ball to trip up Dobbins. The defensive line play has allowed the Bills linebackers to play downhill, which is why both of these linebackers have improved in this category.
But these linebackers earn their money in coverage. This is when their range and athleticism pays off, especially when talking about defending the middle of the field. Through four games, Edmonds' ability to pattern match and consistently space route combinations has stood out. He has played a major part in cutting off easy access to the middle of the field. He is routinely taking away the deeper options in the intermediate area and forcing quarterbacks to move on in their progressions. The type of stuff that won't be chalked up in the box score. The linebackers have been doing such a great job of spacing routes downfield, making the easy throws difficult ones. And with their talent, QBs are just going elsewhere with the ball. Look at how Edmonds and Milano are the underneath leverage for these two inbreaking routes. That's textbook zone spacing and quarters coverage. The Bills run a multitude of quarters coverage adjustments, especially on obvious passing downs or versus 3x1 formations. And in these coverages, Edmonds is asked to pattern match, which usually consists of shutting down any sort of crossing or curl route over the middle, or carrying a receiver down the field. Edmonds has choked so many of these routes, and as I said, he has forced the ball to go to other options. Heck, if Basham doesn't tip this pass and intercept it, I think Edmonds has a shot for the interception. Edmonds haters will look at these plays and say, awesome, he was just doing his job. And that's correct, he has been doing his job, a difficult one, at a consistently high level. Without his pattern matching skills and God-given abilities, the Bills wouldn't be able to do some of the things that Frazier wants. He has played tight coverage, taken away options, some of which have led to sacks. If you've been paying attention to the backside of these coverages, you've seen Milano typically to the weak side of the formation, a lot of times playing man coverage, whereas Edmonds has been to the zone or pattern matching side. That's why these two are great complements. Milano can match up with any sort of receiver to the backside of formations and shut down receivers. With Edmonds pattern matching on the strong side, helping to defend a lot of real estate over the middle by cutting off or carrying routes, it helps the Bills stay in these two high looks to defend the deep passing game. This coverage by the Bills is like poetry in motion. Watch Milano and Edmonds pattern match. Milano carries the slot receiver up the field in stride, ready to cut off or break inside at any moment. Now watch Edmonds. He eyes number three and carries him up the field. As soon as he reaches his landmark, he passes that receiver to the safety and sits. His discipline helps corner Kair Elam. Matt Stafford wanted Edmonds to carry the number three, which would leave the middle of the field open for the number one breaking in. Poyer takes away the deep post to Cup, and the shallow under route is eliminated by Edmonds. What a rotation by the Bills defense, and it leads to a sack. The preparation and communication have been at an all-time high. You can see them talking each and every play. On this play, Edmonds has a tight end, and Milano the running back in this man coverage look. But as the tight end comes across the formation, the backers switch assignments. Everyone is covered up, and Tua is brought down. Another area that these two have been dominant has been on play action and bootleg passes. They are trusting their defensive line to help defend the run, and in turn, aren't getting sucked too far into the line of scrimmage. Edmonds especially. He has done a great job of processing run to pass, then roboting and taking away any crossing route on these plays. Same type of play here. This time, Edmonds takes away the slip route by the tight end, with Poyer executing the cut and Johnson helping him take away the crosser. Stafford has nowhere to go. Edmonds made his biggest splash on one of these plays. Against the Titans, he processed and reacted to a play the Titans completed to Robert Woods earlier in the game. Instead of just dropping to his landmark, Edmonds carried the crosser, showed off his range and length by tipping the pass, which was ultimately intercepted by Jordan Poyer. Just another example of Edmonds' processing improving, which has led to several splash plays already. But Milano is still the alpha playmaker in the linebacker room. He has only been tested one time in man coverage, allowing that reception for four yards. But in zone coverage, he's been a weapon. He's been targeted eight times and only allowed five receptions for 43 yards. He has the third highest force incompletion rate for linebackers in zone coverage, which includes one pass breakup, two dropped interceptions, and one pick six. On the interception, the Bills were playing their trap coverage to the field side. So Elam, Milano, and Edmonds are once again pattern matching. Milano is reading the number three, with Edmonds relating to him as well. If that receiver were to break over the middle in some capacity, Edmonds would carry him. But if that receiver runs an out route, Milano has to trap him, and that's exactly what he does. Tannehill sets to throw so Milano drives on the out route, picks the pass off, and makes a house call. 
Even when passes are completed, these linebackers have done a tremendous job of minimizing the yards after the catch, thanks to sure tackling. Between the both of them, they only have three missed tackles in coverage. Edmonds is tied with Devin Lloyd for fourth in coverage stops with eight. He had 18 all of last season. Milano currently has six and ended 2021 with 20. Both linebackers are dropping into coverage and then taking great angles to the ball and wrapping up. This has not always been the case over the years, but it seems like they are getting to where they need to be, keying the quarterback, then showing off their range to attack the ball carrier. But they are in better control of their bodies when they are approaching the ball carrier. They are scalloping or breaking down and squaring up the offensive player and wrapping up. Very rarely are they out of control or trying to make tackles from odd angles. Edmonds and Milano are playing fast and physical. They are routinely triggering downhill, taking on or avoiding blocks. Sometimes that means they will be the one making the tackle. Sometimes doing their job will help others finish the play. But both are showing that they are comfortable at filling whatever role is needed. If you need them to rush the passer, they have the speed and length to be disruptive. Just ask Tua, Tannehill, or Jackson. Milano has always been a good pass rusher, but because of the defensive additions, he has only rushed a passer five times this season. Milano finished with 96 pass rushes last season, 23 through the first four games. Edmonds has only rushed a passer six times this season, seven fewer than the first four games last season. The Bills defense is top five in just about every statistical category and number two in Football Outsiders DVOA. And that's with having starters like Micah Hyde, Ed Oliver, Jordan Poyer, Tredavious White, and many, many other talented players injured. They have leaned on their talented linebackers to fight like warriors, but also make plays in big moments. Edmonds and Milano have answered the call in the first quarter of the season. And as Zoe said, they are absolutely balling. Thanks for tuning in to this breakdown. If you guys appreciated that breakdown, make sure to subscribe to the Cover One YouTube channel. But more importantly, get to the CoverOne.Football website to become an insider. If you sign up for our One Pass subscription on the CoverOne.Football website, you're going to get a lot of content, behind the scenes type content, scheme and player breakdown, scouting reports. You're going to have access to the Slack channel, our Cover One community where we talk football all day, every day. And you're going to access to our contributors. You're able to engage with them on a daily basis all day. And there's a lot of things that we're going to be putting out to our insiders throughout the season. So if you appreciated this content, this breakdown, you're going to get even more as an insider. So make your play for 57 bucks for the year for all of the content that we provide to our insiders. And thank you again for joining me in the film room.